let me tell you, it, everybody's starting to die in January, okay? We're over the holiday meals, we're over the cookies, we're over the, all the sweets and, and goodies that happen in the holidays. Now, even a lot of us get tired of it even before we start seeing it, right? Because it's just so much. It is natural that we would start to think about how we could diet or restrict more in the new year to come off of all this. But here, there's a lot of problems associated with doing that. Number one, we are around a lot of rich foods right now, and it is intentional for our holiday season, right? These are very meaningful things to us. But you just can't go into January 1 and say, nope, no more, right? That is really hard on our body because then you create a chaos situation on top of an already chaos situation. Our bodies and our cells are just bouncing off each other with this sugar high we got going on right now. And when you completely cold turkey it off, it can create some stress in your body that we're not prepared to handle. It can create mind, you know, we, we feel it in our head, you know, we're grumpy, we're irritated, we're not sleeping well, we're not drinking enough water, we're hungry all the time. You guys know the symptoms, right? So let me offer you some suggestions as you figure out how your resolutions play into this starting in January. Instead of just going cold turkey, right, January 1, which is really anyone who can accomplish that, pretty darn tough. But a better way to do it would be, you know what, I'm going to take out this small thing in my diet starting in January. And doesn't even have to be January 1, it can be January 15th. Maybe it's, I'm gonna stop drinking sodas or I'm gonna reduce my caffeine by X amount each week and gradually step down. Or I'm going to have X, Y, Z included in my diet, a vegetable, a fruit, a supplement, whatever. And I'm gonna gradually replace other things with good things through the way. This gradual swapping and stacking of good things prevents that chaos, right? It allows our body those gradual shifts into good things that we want to have happen without creating the stress and chaos and further just stuff going on in our body. So I highly recommend as you figure out kind of your strategy for going into the new year with resolutions, particularly around dieting, that you look at how you make me do some of these health stacks and you figure out what it makes sense for you. What's the easy thing that you could give up and swap for a healthier thing? When you achieve that, then you add in a new healthy thing and make that swap. You start knocking out the low hanging fruit of bad things in your diet and replacing them with good healthy things. Very quickly, you're gonna get some momentum that make it easier to tackle the big heavy things like sugar and caffeine and the other things that are really hard for people to give up. So that's my recommendation for today when it comes to New Year's resolution dieting and how you kind of switch from holiday eating to New Year eating.